Hi and welcome to High on Coding. I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this very simple video I'm going to show you how you can populate a tree view control and each node of the tree view control will have child nodes. Okay. Uh, so a tree view control is part of the ASP.NET 2.0 framework uh, and of course you can use it in 3.5 and 4 framework. So I'm just going to call my tree view tree view categories or TV categories and run at server. And tree view control is basically one of the best controls if you want to display hierarch hierarchical da data. Okay. So if you have like category and category has products, then you are going to use a tree view control to display that kind of nested behavior. Okay. So one thing that I already uh, performed is the data access layer and I have a uh, get categories it's just going to return me a dummy category and each category will have 10 products okay that's all you need to know so let's go to the page behind of a simple tree view control page dot is post back and here we go point data and I'm going to implement this method. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the categories from the data access dot get categories. So now I have all the categories. Okay. And I can go ahead and iterate through the categories. So I'm just going to say for each var category in categories. And I can go ahead and create a tree node. Tree node equal to new tree node. So tree node is basically a single node of the tree control. All right. And you can assign the text value and the, uh, the value also. But in this case, I'm just going to assign the, uh, the category name over here. But if you like, you can also assign the value. Now, each uh, tree node now should have the products okay and luckily our category has a field or a property which is known as a product so you can use that so i'm just going to say for each var product in category dot products okay and now i'm going to say child node equal to new tree node and i can say okay child node dot text this, this will be the text that will appear and I can say name and then I will add to the child nodes which is child node okay and when you're running this at the end I'm just going to add it to the main tree control and here we go so it's added to the main tree control also don't forget to bind it and here we go so it's binded now all right uh, run the application now so let's go ahead and run the application in the browser when the tree view is initially or the tree control is initially displayed it is the basic style as you can see this is the basic style of the tree but you can of course change it all right and now you can see that the category have 10 products each category category number two has also 10 products uh, by default when you render it uh, it's expanded everything is uh, you know expanded so you don't really want that so let's go ahead and fix that let's see if I can say uh, collapse all and let's run it again and you can do the collapse all on the tree node level also okay so let's go ahead and say category two and you can see now it's much cleaner everything is actually collapsed instead of expanding and you can see that uh, you can when you click on it uh, it shows the products inside the category now a really simple question that you might ask is that okay I have a category over here and it has 10 products what if each product will have five sub products and what if each sub product will have 10 more sub sub products so what will you do well if you follow this particular code that I wrote over here that won't really work because I know at this point 
that category have products but I cannot guess that products have sub products or sub sub products or sub 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 products okay in that case what you're looking at is recursion okay and if you want to learn more about that particular method uh, then go to high on coding as it's the first article over here populating ASP.NET review control recursively and if you check it out what we are doing over here is we are running a recursive loop that's building the tree and when it builds up you can actually see that it is a root there's a category one product sub product and then sub sub product and if you scroll down you will also see some example of the folder structure because your folder structure is an endless uh, is a nested n level uh, tree basically right so you can display that all the code is available in the download sample and I urge you to download it use it I will create some videos also on using the recursion method but in the meanwhile just go and check out the article that's going to do it for this video hope you like it thank you very much